Well, hey, everybody, it's your old pal, Tim. Good Monday morning. This is a little bit of a different Monday morning music and message because uh, this is a really, really big week for the ministry, and we're so blessed. Oh, my gosh. So, um, Saturday, September 7th, um, this coming Saturday... We have been blessed with our own location, and we are finally open, opening the doors. Hallelujah! We're finally opening the doors. Boy, I got to tell you what, when, uh, when, it's, uh, when God says this is on my time, he ain't kidding. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, six months ago, um, we were blessed with the opportunity to get 800 square feet, uh, leasing 800 square feet at one of the historic sites in New Prague. And that historic site is a 130 year old flour mill. It is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, uh, structure in New Prague. It's also the tallest structure in New Prague. And they were in operation for years and years and years. Last couple of years, it's sat vacant. Some folks came in and they've been renovating and kind of turning it into, uh, there's going to be shops and restaurants. Uh, there's going to be all sorts of things in there. And we were offered 800 square feet. And after approaching our board and praying about it, what a great opportunity to be able to offer faith-based recovery meetings, faith-based uh, support groups, 12-step uh, groups. We work through the Life Recovery Bible, so we're talking the 12-step in uh, a biblical format. Plus, we're going to do uh, the Saturday Night Live Jubilee, which is just going to be uh, a night of music, uh, uplifting music, speakers, uh, people coming in to share their story, give their testimonies, and it's going to be educational and fun. Um, and there's no drugs or alcohol here. And we're in a small town, and you may have heard me say this a few times. You know, there's there's eight bars, four liquor stores, and two pot dispensaries. So we want to offer something that is not based off of chemicals. Um, so everybody or everybody is welcome. Drugs and alcohol are not welcome. Okay. So this week, the seventh is our open house. And I would love to invite you to come please from, we're going to be there in the parking lot. Uh, if it's nice out, we'll be in the parking lot. Uh, if it rains, we can take it inside. There's a lot of space in there. There's there's no stopping God when he's got a plan. And uh, we're going to, so it'll be from noon to four. There's going to be free food, pulled pork, chicken, sides, live music. Um, I'll be playing. Uh, the FRM band will be playing. Uh, we're going to have uh, a couple speakers. And you may be wondering what all these guitars are. 
they're not mine. <laughs> But I, there's a really cool story with these guitars. So, and does this little thing sound great? Listen to this. This is this is part of the, the the quartet. This one right here. So, about four years ago, there there is uh, an establishment in New Prague called the Well, and the Well is for teens, troubled teens, and uh, a place where they can go. They can hang out. They can they can uh, work on homework. They can play video games. They can hang out with each other. It, it's a place to go. It's a place to go when sometimes there's nowhere else to go. And it, it's a great, great place. And Deb is our good friend. So I walked in there a couple of years ago and I'm like, you know, if I was a, a teen... <laughs> well, I was back in the Stone Age. I was a troubled teen too, and I, but I got to tell you, this is what this is what really sparked the idea. Was that if I walked into a place like that, I would instantly, I would be so thrilled that there was a place for me to go because I was one of those outcast kids, uh, dysfunctional, violent family. Um, it was it, it was tough. It was tough. And often, uh, the truth of the matter is, is the last place I wanted to be at was home. So the, the, the well is something like that. It's a safe place where kids can go hang out, uh, a place where, where kids can be kids. And when I walked in there, I'm thinking, you know, this place needs some guitars. How cool would it be to walk into that place and there's guitars sitting right there. So FRM donated these guitars to the well this is about four years ago and each guitar came with a uh, a strap you can see the gig bags behind me they all had gig bags uh a stand you can see the stands like on this one right here so it was a complete package strap guitars gave them a bunch of picks and that way people could just come in and just pick them right up you know and the well is now moving they're moving out of new Prague. and deb contacted me and said you know what we uh we we don't need the guitars anymore we're not going to be able to use them where we're going would you like them back and i went yes and i'm going to tell you why because what we're going to do is um if i remember correctly the ministry paid about a thousand dollars for all of these guitars uh, a couple years ago. Now we're at a point where we could use some help with our new location. And if you come on Saturday, a lot of people have been telling me we're going to outgrow this location before we've even moved in. Um, and there are options. God's taking care of us. Um, so in addition to uh, doing the open house, we're going to have a couple silent auctions. And all of these will be offered in the silent auction. They are practically brand new. They play wonderful. They were they were all set up by our friend Rick Hansel here in town. And and I did the opening song just so you could hear how amazing these little guitars are. And I think we're gonna we're gonna start the uh, uh, silent auction off. It's something ridiculous, like two hundred bucks each so for 200 bucks you get a guitar a decent guitar you get a stand you get a gig bag you get a strap you get picks and i tell you what if all of the guitars sell i'll even throw in first lesson free we'll do a clinic we'll all get together at the big room at the mill and i'll i'll get you started i'll give you a free guitar lesson teach you uh first three chords and we'll get you rolling on this and all of this if if they if they do go, all of this goes back into helping faith recovery and music. You know, we've had to put our big boy pants on now that we've got our own spot. And, uh, but gosh, God, it's been so good. I cannot believe it. It, it. It's almost like, you know, there was so much fear in doing this. You know, it, it's like when you're the director of a nonprofit and you you it takes a lot i i gotta tell you if if you're a director of a nonprofit, you know 
you know, and sometimes, you know, it, it's like, it's, it's like when people say to a pastor, oh, well, you're lucky. The only day a week you have to work is on Sunday. And we all know how ridiculous that is because pastors are pretty much 24 seven, pretty much 24 seven. As a matter of fact, a lot of pastors um, have breakdowns because of the time and effort that they are constantly giving to other people that they neglect themselves and their own family. So, you know, love on your pastor, love on them and uh, tell them how much they're appreciated. You know, they're, uh, we get locked up in, in everything that it has to be about us and every little problem we have. And we forget that other people go through problems too. And sometimes they may be struggling too. And sometimes the best thing we can do to get out of our own head and out of our own selfish and selfless behavior is to help another person, right? Right. And you can help us as we look at the possibility of having to get more space at the mill. We're praying about it. We're going to know, um, we'll know probably in uh, this upcoming month if we'll need it or not. Um, and I would also ask you if you would uh, pray about it. Pray that this ministry goes in the direction that God wants it to go, not the direction Tim wants to go, wants it to go, not the direction that any of our board members want it to go, not the direction that another church or another organization would want it to go. It goes in the direction God wants it to go. And we will take all the prayers and all of the input we can on that. Because this ministry, first and foremost, is about the grace, the power, and the forgiveness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? So, meetings start. Are you, are you ready for this? One week from today, our first meeting at the mill will start. We're going to start with step one in the Life Recovery Bible, you can count on a lot of music, you can count on some fellowship, you can count on digging into that first step. We got a big industrial sized coffee maker, so it's gonna be wonderful, it's gonna be wonderful. So that'll be Monday at one o'clock. Then the following day, we uh, our meetings, we'll have an evening meeting. Those will be Tuesdays at six o'clock. We'll also do the steps through that. Um, we're a little bit further along in that group. So uh, the steps are always going to be a little bit spread apart between both groups, but that's kind of cool. So, uh, and also there are other meetings that are in the making for this, like faith-based uh, faith based, uh, support groups. Faith-based, uh, we've got a fifth step office where, you know, we go through the Life Recovery Bible, and even though we meet as a group, you know, the best way to go through the steps ultimately is with another person. You, another person, and God. You admit to God and one other human being all of that sludge and garbage and gook, resentment, pride, ego, all of that junk that's swirling around on the inside. We have a fifth step office so people can get that out. Because like I said, we aren't, we're, we're learning about the steps and the ultimate goal is that people go, Boy, these steps are awesome. I think I'm going to find somebody. Um, and no nonsense. No nonsense. If you're a man, you go through the steps with a man. If you're a woman, you go through the steps with a woman. You go through the steps with somebody you trust that you can tell your darkest and deepest secrets to. You don't do that in a group because if you've got something that's eating you up on the inside and you share in a group of 12 people, I'm here to tell you, not everybody is going to be on your side. That is just the way it is. So that's why the 12 steps, and even the Bible in James says, you admit to God and one other human being, okay? That way you can get it out, and you do it with somebody you trust, a pastor, a sponsor, somebody with long-time recovery, something like that, because you have to get this garbage out. It is the the age-old act of confession and it's powerful let me tell you what when you when you when you get this stuff out it's like a like god is lifting this mammoth weight off your back and i like to think of the fourth and fifth step as the baptism steps because you're becoming a new creation like it says in, in 2 Corinthians, you're becoming a new creation in Christ. You're being baptized to the new. You are now 
appear as snow. And that's, I got to tell you what, that's a lot of juice right there to get in there, help yourself. And when you help yourself, that makes you able to help others while you serve God at the same time. That's an amazing plan right there. So let's wrap this up. Saturday, September 7th, noon to 4, New Prague, Minnesota. We will be having our open house party at the Recovery Mill. And that is at 200 2nd Avenue Southwest in New Prague, right off of Main Street. Bring the family. Bring uh, bring grandma. Bring, bring people who could maybe benefit from a program like this. Uh, maybe that's you, you know. But regardless, bring your appetite and and get ready for a day of fun and music. We'll have these guitars up for silent auction there. We'll have a couple other ways that you can help the ministry. And you know, when you go in there and you're gonna see these rooms that, you know, we didn't walk into this place and it was 800 feet of, of beauty and it's all ready to go. Man, we had teams of men and women, businesses, people in recovery coming in, tearing up the floor, um, scraping the walls, uh, ripping out countertops, islands. There was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this place. And you can feel the strong presence of God in there. Um, people in the community, businesses in the community that rose up. It's just unbelievable all of the things that have, have been happening in there. And you're going to get to see it and experience it firsthand. So, all right, that's enough out of me. And remember, you could you could have this guitar. Isn't this nice? <laughs>